Next breaking news here on Issues. We have been talking about the desperate search for a missing 21-year-old mother out of Austin, Texas. Her name, Julie Ann Gonzalez. You see her face there. Um, her estranged husband, Georgia LaCruz, was the last person to see her before she vanished. We were talking with her aunt, who said she had questions about the husband's story, and now we have the husband himself, George de la Cruz, on the phone. Uh, he is a security guard out of Austin, Texas. George, uh, are you there, sir? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Well, um, we've been talking about the disappearance of the mother of your child, the, your estranged wife. You're not divorced yet. Yes. And tell us about the circumstances of your last contact with her, because that's apparently when she disappeared tell us tell us what happened well like i said it was her time to come pick my daughter up because uh like i said we had a joint custody and when she arrived i was expecting her to go pick her up come uh, get her right and she came in like i said i saw her she was different like i said i know i've been with her for at least four years so i know when there's something wrong with her and i tried talking to her i tried to ask the question what's wrong and she just said well i'm okay don't worry about it I just let it go, right? So, like I said, well, here's the latest stuff, and everything's there. You want to go ahead and check uh, check at it, so make sure that everything's there so you can take her. That's what she told me. Well, you know what? Uh, I got plans uh, this weekend. Can you please take care of her? I'm like, okay, yeah. And I said, so when are you going to come pick her up? So I'll let you know. I'll call you whenever I want her. But she said, well, it's going to be this weekend. I'm like, yes. So, like I said, I never thought anything bad was going to happen. Because, like I said, well, okay, I'm going to take for a couple more days. And whenever she's ready, she's gonna call me to pick her up this weekend. So, like I said, I didn't expect nothing to come back from this until Saturday that we find out that she hasn't contacted no one. So, like I said, yeah, yeah, I kind of feel bad because I was the last person. I should have done a little bit extra to find out what was wrong. If there was something wrong, because it's gone a month and there's nothing that we have heard from her. Have law, did law enforcement come and interview you? Did they um, investigate yeah. you? Did they go through, you know, your computer and all that stuff? Yeah, like you said, they can come. Like, they haven't done it, but I know they came in the house because they, the family suspected that she might have been hiding here. And uh, so uh, we let the police come in, and they searched around the house, and that was about it. But like I said, I talked to the detective. The cops come and interviewed me. And like I said, I've been cooperative. Like I said, if they want to come in and search more of the house, I'll be glad to let them come in. Do you know if she had met someone else? Because uh, uh, it's, it's very possible that maybe she met somebody else and that other person is responsible. Uh, like I said, I don't know if she has, because like I said, we've been apart for at least four or five months because we separated. And um, I don't know if she has met someone that time because I said she never told me anything. But like from what she on her MySpace, I don't know if it's her or someone else putting that stuff, but it made it seem that she might have someone. She might have a new a new man in her life. Yeah, in yeah, but like I said, we okay. don't know if it's true. All right, well, hold on one second, George. I, I give you props for coming on the show and, and telling your side of the story. We always love that here on Issues. We want to be fair. But just hold on. Don't hang up. Dora Cooper, the aunt of the missing woman, Julianne Gonzalez. You've been listening to George. Do you want to weigh in at all? I thought you had some thoughts, perhaps, on whether or not she'd met somebody new. The, 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 the messages that came off were that she was with someone. Those are the messages that were posted after we reported her missing you know George may or may not know what happened to her but if anyone knows we are just trying to reach out to the community you know we've reached out to local law enforcement to help us find her the story we're getting is she is a 21 year old she's an adult if she wants to go missing she can go missing but I don't I, we don't accept that she has a two-year-old daughter she has a family that really loves her truly misses her she just walked away from her job walked away from a, a brand new car she just purchased why would someone go and spend $2,000 on a vehicle two or three weeks before she disappears? That were, doesn't make any sense. Were the keys in the car? No. Was anything in the car her purse? Uh, Layla's medicine, Layla's car seat, other little personal belongings. Okay, what I'm hearing here is also the possibility that she may have met someone, and people do that, that she got estranged, she may have met somebody else, and maybe that person is somebody that police need to look at. Do you know anything about that, Dora? We have no idea. If that, if that has been indicated, we have no idea who that person would be. My look, Mark Harold or Dr. Dale Archer, you've been listening to all this. You're the psychiatrist. What do you make of it? 
Um, can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah, I, I would just uh, like a better description, uh, George. Uh, you said that she didn't seem like she was herself. Did she seem like she was depressed? Did she seem like she was planning something, nervous, anxious okay. about something going on? George? Yes. Um, like I said, she looked completely different. She kind of looked sad. She was down. She was out of, like, not there, like, not concentrating. And uh, like I said, I know, I know her because, like I said, I was with her. And I'm married to her, so I know when there's something wrong. And I tried asking her what was wrong, and she never told me what was wrong. She just said, I'm okay, don't worry about it. And I know I asked her about a couple of times to find out what was really going on. And I don't know if she was sad about something, but she never gave me anything. So I just dropped it, and okay, maybe she just said about something, about work or anything, I don't know. But um, like I said, yeah, at that time, she was completely different. Even when she interacted with my daughter, Hey, George, hang on a second. We're going to come back on the other side of this break. We're going to... From the goodness of almonds comes new...